Okay, so we're having a look here at finding the Fourier series of a function f of t equal to t squared plus 2 from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so we need to find a naught, a n, and b n, our Fourier coefficients. Okay, so um, what we should do to find these to make our life easier is to check whether it's an odd or even function. So let's have a go at sketching this. So f of t. I'll rewrite as t times t plus 1. Okay, so this is a parabola with intercepts at t equal to 0 and t equal to negative 1. So let's draw that. Okay, so um, at 0 and at negative 1, so I get this parabola. Alright. That goes on over there and on over there. Okay, so this is t squared plus t. However, we're asking for 0 to 2 pi, so it's going from 0 to 2 pi. So that's 0 to 2 pi. So we're only interested in this section of the graph. So let's come over here and redraw that redraw the um, restricted function. So we're going to have our t axis, f of t, and what we're looking at is just this bit over here. Okay, It's going to have a solid dot on the right hand limit, because it's equal to 2 pi, and a hollow dot on the left hand limit. Okay, So it's periodic over that function, so between 2 pi and 4 pi it's going to look like this. Oops, and from negative 2 pi to 0, it's going to be the same. So it's periodic over 2 pi because at some time t naught, if we add 2 pi to it, so we're over here, t naught plus 2 pi, because 2 pi is the fundamental, frequent, uh, fundamental period of this function, we've got the same f of t value. Okay, so that's why it's periodic and it's 2 pi periodic. So, having said all that, let's go ahead and find a naught, a n, and b n. Well, actually, the reason why we drew the graph was to determine whether it's an odd or even function. And it's actually neither. It's not an odd function because it's not reflected in the y, reflected in the x, so that would give us something that was down there. And it's not an even function because it's not a mirror image in the y axis. So we're going to have a naughts, a n's, and b n's. So let's go ahead and find them. So a naught is 1 on L, which is equal to, well, the period's 2 pi, so L is equal to pi. And where am I going to integrate over? Which frequency? Well, if we have a look at the graph, from 0 to 2 pi it gives me one complete cycle. If I was to go from negative pi to positive pi, I'd have that bit of the graph, and then that bit of the graph between 0 and pi, this bit between negative pi and 0. So it's one complete cycle, but it's disjoint. So I would have to integrate this function from negative pi to 0 and add it to the integral of this function between 0 and pi. So that's a bit of hard work. So you always choose a, a, an interval where I have one continuous cycle of the function, which I do between 0 and 2 pi. So that came up quite a bit. So 0 to 2 pi. I don't know why I've changed colors, that's fine though. Um, a naught is equal to f of t dt, and f of t is t squared plus t, oops, t squared plus t dt. So let's integrate that, so it's 1 on pi times a third t cubed plus a half t squared from 2 pi to 0, which is equal to 1 on pi, 2 cubed is 8, so I get an 8 on 3 pi cubed, plus that becomes 4 pi squared on 2, so 2 pi squared. Alright, so pi will cancel out with one of those each, so I end up with 8 on 3 pi squared plus 2 pi. So that's my A naught. Okay, that's my A naught. Alright, so I'll highlight that and we'll use that later. Okay, so the next 
thing I need to find is AN. So I'll use a different color for AN. So AN. So AN is equal to 1 on L, 0 to 2 pi, the function t plus t squared times cos n t dt. Okay, so we've come across this integral, and as I said, we're going to use the formula sheet to um, help us do this. So it's equal to 1 on pi. 0 to 2 pi, and then I've got the integral t cos nt dt plus 1 on pi, 0 to 2 pi, the integral of t squared cos nt dt. So this is equal to 1 on pi, and let's have a look at our formula sheet. Alright, so if we go back up the slides, I'm looking at t cos and t, so I've got that. So that's going to be equal to 1 on pi, ooh, coming back over here, cos and t on n squared plus t sine and t on n between 0 and 2 pi plus 1 on pi times the integral of t squared cos and t, which is over here. So I've got negative 2 sine nt, 2x cos nt, x squared sine nt. So negative 2 sine nt on n cubed, on n cubed, plus 2t cos nt on n squared. Alright, I'll just double check it. Got uh, 2t plus x squared plus t squared sine nt on n and that's also from 0 to 2 pi so it's quite long but uh, we'll shorten it right now so it's equal to 1 on pi times we'll sub in 2 pi into here we have going to have cos 2 pi n which is equal to 1 on n squared plus here we're going to have sine 2 pi n which is equal to 0 minus cos of 0 is 1 and this term sine of 0 is 0 so minus 0 plus 1 on pi we've got sub in 2 pi we have sine of 2 pi n which is 0 plus here we're going to have cos of 2 pi n which is always 1 and t is equal to 2 pi so we're going to have 4 pi on n squared and here we're going to have 2 pi n is just 0 so we're going to have plus of 0 and then minus sine of 0 is 0 cos of 0 is 1 but we're multiplying it by t which is equal to 0 so that's going to give me a 0 as well and sine of 0 is also 0 so these terms cancel out 1 on n squared minus 1 on n squared and I'm left with just this term 1 on pi times 4 pi on n squared which is simply 4 on n squared so that's what my an is equal to so great got my an got my a naught now let's just find bn all right so bn bn well, I'll use a different color a bit lighter on the eyes so bn is equal to 1 on l across a period so 0 to 2 pi in this case t plus t squared sine and t dt. So 1 on pi, 0 to 2 pi, t sine nt dt, plus 1 on pi, 0 to 2 pi, t squared sine nt dt. Alright, so it's equal to 1 on pi, and I'm going to do this all at the same time. Because they've got the same limits, I'm just going to have this function plus this function in the same um, brackets here. So t sine nt is that sine nt on n squared minus so sine nt on n squared minus t cos nt on n, 
and then plus this integral, which is equal to x squared. So 2 cos nt on n cubed plus 2 cos nt on n cubed, then plus 2t sine nt on n squared plus 2t sine nt on n squared minus t squared cos nt on n. I'll just check that. Yep. Alright, so between 0 and 2 pi. So we're coming along here. Oops, keep doing that. Change the color just to vary it up. So it's equal to 1 on pi. Sine of 2 pi nt, sine of 2 pi n is 0, so it's just going to be 0. Here I'm going to get cos of 2 pi n, which is 1, and then 2 pi there, so I get minus 2 pi on n. That's going to give me the same, so I'm going to have plus 2 cos m, 2 m pi is 1, so 2 on n cubed. Oh, it's a bit messy. 2 on n cubed. Um, sine 2 pi n is going to be 0, and here I'm going to get 2 pi n which is 1, but that's squared, so it's going to be minus 2 pi all squared, which is 4 pi squared on n. And something in the 0, I'm going to get sine of 0, 0. There's a t there, so that's going to be 0. 2 cos nt, that's going to be non-zero, but we're subtracting because it's the lower limit. So we're going to have 2 on n cubed, 0 and 0, because of the t squared and the t. So let's some little lap, so I've got 1 on pi negative um, so I've got these are going to cancel out, sorry, 2n cubed, negative 2n cubed I'm going to have negative 2 pi minus 4 pi squared all on n and clearly one of the pi's will cancel with these ones so I'm going to have negative 2 minus 4 pi on n and that is my bn. Great. So I've got my a n, I've got my bn, I've got my a naught, so I'm ready to write the function. So let's go back up to the top here. My f of t, my f of t is equal to a naught on 2. a naught was 8 on 3 pi squared plus 2 pi, so that's going to be 4 on 3 pi squared plus pi plus the series from n equals 1 to infinity of a n which was 4 on n squared so 4 on n squared cos n t plus my b n which I think I remember was 4 pi the minus 4 pi plus 2 on n sine nt. Now just check that 4 pi plus 2 on n. Uh, 4 pi plus 2 on n, that is correct. Okay, so that is my function f of t. So that's the infinite Fourier series that represents the function f of t equals t squared plus 2 between 0 and 2 pi. So this infinite series will give me the graph that looks like this. Isn't that fantastic? We've come up with an infinite series which is looking complicated over here but it actually gives me this function from negative infinity to infinity. It's convergent for all values of t. Isn't that great? So this is a complicated looking thing, but I've simplified it, well, you might argue that it's not simplified, but uh, I've simplified it with this infinite Fourier series. Fantastic.